Section 1 of the Arabic Hidden Words Revealed by Baha'u'llah Translated by Hussein Ruhi This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org Recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater The Arabic Hidden Words Revealed by Baha'u'llah, Section 1 Arabic Hidden Words, 1 to 19 Of the utterances which descended from the majestic might through the tongue of power and strength on the prophets of the past, we have taken the essence and in the garment of brevity clothed it. And this is a kindness to the beloved that they may be enabled to fulfill the covenant of god and to perform in themselves that which he has entrusted to them that through the excellence of devotion which is of the spirit they may win the victory one o son of spirit the first utterance declareth possess a good pure and enlightened heart for therein is the kingdom eternal unpassing ancient too o son of spirit the best of all to me is justice cast it not aside if thou desirest me neglect it not by it thou wilt be strengthened to see all things not with the eyes of men but with thine own to know all things not by the knowledge of any in the world but of thyself upon this meditate how thou oughtest to be the power of discernment have i given thee this is my providence for thee keep it ever before thine eyes three o son of man i was in my ancient essence and my everlasting being i foreknew my love for thee therefore i created thee and laid upon thee my likeness and manifested in thee my beauty for o son of man because thy creation rejoiced me therefore i created thee love me that i may acknowledge thee and in the spirit of life confirm thee five o son of existence love me that thou mayest know my love for thee if thou lovest me not my love can never reach thee know this o servant six o son of existence thy rose garden is my love thy paradise is my nearness therefore enter in and tarry not in my supreme majesty in my highest kingdom it is this which has been ordained for thee seven o son of humanity if thou desirest me love not thyself if thou seekest my grace value not thine own thus thou wilt be transient in me but in thee i will be everlasting eight o son of spirit for thee no peace has been ordained save by turning from thyself and advancing towards me verily it is the law that thy glory is in my name and not in thine own that thy dependence is on my countenance and not on thine for verily i am to be beloved 
above all that is. 9. O Son of Existence, my love is my kingdom. Whosoever enters it is safe. Whoever seeks it not is led astray and perishes. 10. O Son of Truth, of my kingdom art thou. Come into it, that thou mayest attain to eternal truth. My love is in thee, know it to be thyself, that thou mayest find me near. 11. O son of existence, my vase thou art, my light is in thee, be enlightened by it, and seek not any besides me, for I have made thee rich, and abundantly bestowed my grace upon thee. 12. O son of existence, by the hand of power I made thee, by the fingers of strength I created thee, and in thee I placed the essence of my light. Therefore depend upon this, and upon naught else, for verily mine action is perfect, and my decree shall prevail. Doubt not this, question it not. 13. O son of spirit, I created thee rich. How is it that thou makest thyself poor? I made thee mighty. How is it that thou holdest thyself cheap? From the essence of knowledge I brought thee forth. How is it that thou seekest aught besides me? From the clay of love I needed thee. How is it that thou turnest from me? Direct thy sight to thine own being, that thou mayest find me standing in thee, powerful, mighty, supreme. 14. O son of man, thou art my possession, and my possession will never be destroyed. How is it that thou fearest thy destruction? Thou art my light, and my light will never be extinguished. How is it that thou apprehendest thy extinction? Thou art my garment, and my garment will never be worn out. Therefore rest thou in thy love for me, that thou mayest find me in the highest horizon. 15. O Son of Truth, turn to my face, and withdraw from all else besides me, for verily mine authority is enduring and will never end. My kingdom is eternal, and will never be overthrown. If thou seekest something besides me, thou wilt find it not. Yea, even though thou searchest the universe for ever and ever. 16. O Son of Light, forget all save me. Be comforted by my spirit. This is the essence of my command. Therefore abide in it steadfastly. 17. O son of man, let thy satisfaction be in me, not in the things of the world. Seek no refuge besides me, for verily there is naught else that will ever satisfy thee. 18. O son of spirit, ask thou not of me that which I desire not for thee. Be thou satisfied with what I have ordained to thy countenance, for that will benefit thee, if with it thou art content. 19. O son of divine wisdom, I placed in thee a spirit from me, that thou mightest be my lover. 
why hast thou left me and sought another lover end of section one recording by nicholas james bridgewater recorded in london england section two of arabic hidden words revealed by baha'u'llah translated by hussein ruhi this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit LibriVox.org. recording by nicholas james bridgewater the arabic hidden words revealed by baha'u'llah section two arabic hidden words twenty to thirty eight twenty o son of spirit my right to thee is great and cannot be denied my bounty to thee is ample and cannot be ignored my love for thee is real and cannot be forgotten my light for thee is shining and cannot be concealed twenty one o son of humanity i have ordained for thee from the tree of wisdom the holiest fruits how is it that thou hast turned from them and been content with what is common return thou to thy heritage in the highest horizon twenty two o son of spirit i created thee sublime but thou hast made thyself ordinary ascend to that for which thou wert created twenty three o son of the unseen supreme kingdom i beckoned thee to life but thou preferest death wherefore hast thou turned from my desire and followed thine own will twenty four o son of man transgress not the bounds of thy limitation claim not for thyself what thou shouldst not claim adore the countenance of thy lord the mighty the powerful twenty five o son of spirit dost thou boast thyself over the poor verily i walk before them and i behold thee in thy miserable state and forever grieve for thee twenty six o son of existence how is it that thou hast forgotten thine own faults and occupiest thyself with the shortcomings of my people in that thou doest thus thou condemnest thyself twenty seven o son of man so long as thou thyself sinnest breathe not the sins of any if thou violatest this command of the earth art thou to this i bear witness twenty eight o son of spirit know verily that he who exhorts men to equity and himself does iniquity is not of me though he bear my name twenty nine o son of spirit lay not upon any man what thou wouldst not have placed against thyself and promise not what thou wilt not fulfil this is my command to thee obey it thirty o son of man hinder not my servant in whatsoever he may ask of thee for his face is my face and me thou must revere thirty one 
O Son of Existence, ponder well thy deeds each day, as though thou wert to be judged for them. For verily, death cometh to thee, and then thy deeds will judge thee. 32. O Son of the Unseen Spiritual Kingdom, I made death as glad tidings for thee. How is it that thou despairest at its approach? I gave thee enlightenment to guide thee. How is it that thou veilest thyself from it? 33. O Son of Spirit, the gospel of light I herald to thee. Gladden thyself with it. To the state of holiness I call thee. Enter its shelter, that thou mayest rest forever. 34. O Son of Spirit, the Holy Spirit heralds comfort to thee. How is it that thou art sorrowful? The spirit of command confirms thee in the cause. How is it that thou tarriest? The light of my countenance shines before thee. How is it that thou goest astray? 35. O son of man, be not sorrowful, save when thou art far from me. Be not happy, save when thou art returning to me, when thou art near me. 36. O son of man, cheer thy heart with delight, that thou mayest be fitted to meet me, and become a mirror of my splendor. 37. O son of man, clothe thy nakedness with the splendor of my garment, Deprive thyself not of thy portion of my beautiful fountains, lest thirst possess thee forever. 38. O son of existence, keep my commands because thou lovest me. Cut thyself off from thine own desires if thou seekest my pleasure. End of section two. Recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater. Recorded in London, England. Section three of Arabic Hidden Words Revealed by Baha'u'llah. Translated by Hussein Ruhi. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater. Arabic Hidden Words, Revealed by Baha'u'llah, Section 3. Arabic Hidden Words, 39-57. to 57. 39. O son of man, neglect not my laws, if thou lovest my beauty. Forget not my commandments, if thou desirest my blessing. 40. O son of man, speed thee to the land of the supreme kingdom. Haste! to the space of heaven. Thou wilt not find rest, save in obedience to my command, and in devotion before my face. 41. O son of man, glorify my cause, that I may make known to thee the secrets of my greatness, and shine upon thee with the enlightenment which is eternal. 42. O son of man, obey me that I may come to thee. Advance my cause 
that thou mayest be crowned a victor in the kingdom. 43. O son of existence, mention me in mine earth, that I may mention thee in my heaven, that thine eye and mine eye may be content. 44. O son of the throne, thy hearing is my hearing, hear thou with it. Thy sight is my sight, see thou with it. A test for me in thine inmost soul, a supreme holiness, that I may attest for thee in myself, an exalted place. 45. O son of existence, suffer in my cause with a joyful heart. Receive with thankfulness that which I have destined for thee, that thou mayest rest with me in the tents of glory behind the veils of might. 46. O son of man, Consider what it behoves thee to do. Act wisely. Is it dearer to thee to die upon thy bed, or to be martyred in my name upon the dust, and become the dawning place of my cause, and the manifestation of my light in the highest estate of paradise? Be wise, O servant. 47. O son of man, by my splendor, thy will to tinge thy hair with thy blood is dearer to me than the two realms of the universe, than the brilliance of the two great lights. Therefore cherish it, O servant. 48. O son of man, to everything there is a sign, and the sign of love is patience to endure the trials, the destiny ordained by me. 49. O son of man, the true lover longs for the test, as the rebel for pardon, as the criminal for mercy. 50. O son of man, if thou avoidest affliction, how canst thou walk in the hard way of those who are content with that which pleaseth me? If thou fearest, lest calamity befall thee on my path, how canst thou gain the enlightenment of my splendour? 51. O son of man, my calamity is my providence. Without, it is fire and vengeance. Within, it is light and mercy. Therefore, welcome it with joy, that thou mayest become everlasting light and an eternal spirit. This is my command. Know thou it. 52. O son of humanity, if good fortune come to thee, let it not rejoice thee. If humiliation overtake thee, mourn not because of it. For verily there shall be a time when both shall cease and be no more. 53. O son of existence, if thou art stricken with poverty, sorrow not, for verily riches shall one day be thine. Fear not abasement, for exaltation shall be thy portion. 54. O son of existence, if thou lovest, the ancient and unending kingdom, the unpassing and eternal life. 
turn thou from this transient and mortal state. 55. O son of existence, let this world not engross thee. Verily, fire is the test of gold. With gold we prove the hearts of men. 56. O son of man, thou desirest gold, but I desire thy separation from it. Thou hast thought to find thy riches in heaping it together. I know that to purify thyself from it is thy wealth by my life. That is thine imagining, this my knowledge. How can thy thought agree with mine? 57. O son of man, distribute the gold which I have given thee among my poor, that thou mayest in heaven give from the treasures of exaltation which have no end, from the stores of glory which cannot be exhausted. But by my life, the sacrifice of thyself is more glorious couldst thou behold it with mine eye. End of section 3 Recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater Recorded in London, England Section 4 of Arabic Hidden Words by Baha'u'llah Translated by Hussein Ruhi This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater. Arabic Hidden Words, Revealed by Baha'u'llah, Section 4. Arabic Hidden Words, 58 to 71. 58. O son of humanity, the temple of thy life is my throne. Cleanse it utterly, that I may occupy it. 59. O son of existence, thy heart is my house. Sanctify it, that I may enter it. Thy spirit is an aspect of my essence. Purify it for mine appearance. 60. O son of man, put thy hand into my treasury, that I may raise my head, shining with brilliancy from above thy treasures. 61. O son of man, Ascend to my heaven, that thou mayest come near to me, that thou mayest drink from the pure wine which has no likeness, from the everlasting cup of glory. 62. O son of man, many are the days that thou occupiest thyself with the superstitions and imaginings of thy fancy. How long wilt thou thus sleep upon thy bed? Lift thy head, for verily the sun has arisen and ascended to the zenith, that he may shine upon thee with the light of his splendor. 63. O son of man, enlightenment has come to thee from the horizon of the mount. The spirit of holiness has breathed from the Sinai of thy heart. Therefore cleanse thyself from hindrances and imaginings. Enter into the court that thou mayest be prepared to meet me. 
that thou mayest be fitted for the everlasting life where no trouble weariness or death can befall thee sixty four o son of man my eternity is my creation and i have created it for thee therefore make it the garment of thy temple my oneness is mine invention and i have invented it for thee therefore clothe thyself with it thus mayest thou be the arising place of my omnipresence forever sixty five o son of man my greatness is my gift to thee my majesty is my mercy to thee but that which is due to me none can realize or comprehend i have kept it in the treasures of my secrets in the stores of my mysteries as a kindness to my worshippers and a mercy to my creatures sixty six o children of the unseen essence ye will be hindered from loving me your hearts will be disturbed when i am mentioned for the mind cannot grasp me the heart cannot encompass me sixty seven o son of splendour by my spirit and by my providence by my mercy and by my splendour all that which i have made known unto thee by the tongue of might and written for thee with the pen of power is revealed according to thy place and station not according to my supreme reality sixty eight o children of men know ye why i created ye from one dust that no one should glorify himself over the other that ye should always bear in mind the manner of your creation since i have created ye from one substance it behoves ye to be as one walking with common feet eating with one mouth living in one land until in your natures and your deeds the signs of the unity and the essence of the oneness shall appear this is my advice to ye o ye people of light profit by it that ye may pluck the fruits of holiness from the trees of might and power sixty nine o children of the spirit ye are my treasuries for in ye have i stored the pearls of my secrets the gems of my knowledge guard them lest the unbelievers among my people the wicked ones among my creatures should discover them seventy o son of him who stands in his own essence in the kingdom of himself know that i have bestowed the fragrance of holiness upon thee have accomplished the utterance unto thee have perfected all grace for thee have willed for thee what i have willed for myself therefore dwell in me with love and gratitude seventy one o son of man on the tablet of thy soul write all that i have enjoined upon thee with the ink of light and if thou canst not 
write it with ink taken from the essence of thy heart and if still thou canst not write it with the red ink shed in my cause which verily is dearer to me than all else that its radiance may be confirmed forever end of section four end of the arabic hidden words revealed by baha'u'llah recording by nicholas james bridgewater recorded in london england